welcome back to part three of the Alchemy Cardigan Crochet Along. I'm Jess from Make and Do Crew, and I've partnered with my friends at lovecrochet.com to bring you this free four-part pattern and video tutorial series. In the first two weeks, we worked on the back and the front two pieces of the cardigan, and today we're going to be tackling the sleeves. Remember that if you need any support or have questions you want to ask, you can join us in the Facebook groups that are linked right below this video. You can also find the link to part three of the free written pattern as well as the ad-free printable PDF right below this video. All right, let's make some sleeves. So as you can see here, we have that first cuff portion of the sleeve, and this is what's going to have the option of being folded over. And this is that same stitch we've worked all along with X's and double crochets. And then we're going to work in this direction, adding on to the edge here. And this is going to be in half double crochets with a chain one space. And we're going to do some very, very simple increasing along each edge. And that's what's going to have this nice graduated effect to the armpit. So we're all going to start our sleeve in the same way, and that's by making a rectangle to form the cuff of the sleeve. So that's going to be the part right here that can fold over with the button. And the cuff is basically like a large gauge swatch. It's just a big rectangle that's tall and skinny, and it's worked in that same stitch pattern that we used for the main pieces of the sweater. So I'm not going to cover this extremely in depth, because if you need a refresher on the stitch, you can go back to part one and the video tutorial where we covered how to work the back because um, what you need to know here is that you're going to chain 36 chains. No matter what size you're working, it's gonna start with 36 chains, and then the number of rows you work um, vertically is gonna vary by size. So check out the free written pattern or the uh, PDF if you purchase that, and that'll tell you how many rows to work. But when you finish that, please don't fasten off your yarn, leave it attached because we're gonna work then along the raw edge of this rectangle to form the rest of the sleeve. So once you've finished your cuff here, it should look basically like this. It's a very simple rectangle, as you can see. Um, and I've left my yarn, my working yarn, attached right here because we're gonna use it to work our next row, which is actually gonna be happening in right here. Uh, along the rough edge or the side edge of this cuff. So this is going to be able to fold over like this and that's going to be our cuff and the rest of the sleeve is going to work up this way. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this this way and we're going to work in half double crochet and chain stitches. And one important thing to note as we work in half double crochet is that the first chain two at the beginning of each row is always going to count as the first stitch of the row. So as I get started here, I'm gonna do that chain two, and that'll be my first half double crochet, and then I'm gonna half double crochet all the way across this row right here. And I'll just warn you right now, if there's any part that may take a little bit of finagling in this sweater, it's this one. And that's just because we need to work a certain number of stitches all the way across here, and that's depending on the size you're making. But it may be that you get to the end and realize you're one too few or too many, and you might need to tear it out a little bit and then sort of reshuffle them to make sure they're kind of evenly spaced across. So just prepare yourself for uh, the journey, not the destination on that part. And I promise it won't take too long, so I'm going to show you about how to space them. So I've got the first one here, and then I'm going to half double crochet into that space right here, and then work a second one right here um, in that space. So we're working pretty much two to three half double crochet per um, what is essentially a crochet row right here. So I've got three there. I'm gonna work another two into this space here. And then as you'll see, every few rows, there will be a little hole like this. And that's just depending on if it's um, the end of a row with a double crochet or the beginning of a row like right here with a chain. So when we see a double crochet like this at the end, there's a nice little hole right there. That's a convenient spot to tuck an extra stitch. And I've just found that's the easiest way for me to hit about the number I need to at the other side, which is I'm going to need a total of 53. So as long as you're spacing them about like this, which is two half double crochet per row, and then every, every few rows you tuck another one in that space, you'll end up close to the number. And then like I said, you may just have to go back and adjust a little bit. 
but the number of stitches you're working is going to be based on the size that you're making and you can check that number out in the free written pattern but this is going to be the foundational row that we're going to build our mesh stitches on top of so I'm placing a total of 53 stitches and that first chain two counts as my first one. So I need another 52 stitches as I work my way across this row. Okay, so I've just finished my row one here and I counted and I actually have two extra stitches here. So I'm just gonna tear this out a little ways back and then I will rework it by skipping a couple of those double crochet um, little extra holes that we were working into um, when there was a double crochet at the end of the row. So I'm gonna try again by skipping a total of two of those and I should end up at the end now with the correct number of stitches. So as you can see, there's a little bit of finessing you might have to do. Don't sweat it because from here on out, everything we're doing is going to be very straightforward and uh, easy counting. All right, now I have the correct number of stitches running across this side edge of the cuff here for my row one. So I am going to start the mesh section of this sleeve. And to do so, I only need to know how to do two rows. One is just a regular non-increase row of mesh. And the second one is an increase row. So the frequency at which you're working each of them depends on the size you're making. So as you're probably tired of hearing me say, check out the free written pattern because that'll teach you exactly how often you should work an increasing row. But to show you how to work row two, which is gonna be um, a regular mesh row, no increasing, we are going to chain three to begin and that is gonna be how we start every row actually. And that will always count as a half double crochet as well as one chain one space. And you'll see why that's important when we work a little bit of mesh. So I'm gonna skip this first half double crochet here, that's the first stitch, and then I'm gonna work a half double crochet into the next second stitch. And that's gonna form my first little chain one space window here. So I'm gonna chain one, skip one half double crochet and then half double crochet into the next stitch. And that is all there is to these non-increased rows. So I'm chaining one, skipping a stitch, and then working my next half double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet. Chain one, skip one, half double crochet. So I'm gonna work like this to the end of the row and then I'll meet you there to show you exactly how it ends with the turning chain. As I come to the end of this row here, I'm gonna skip one, work a half double crochet, and then I should have one stitch left, one half double crochet, as well as that turning chain. And if you remember, we worked two, uh, two chains here and that counts as a half double crochet. So we're gonna skip this stitch and chain one, and then we're gonna work our last half double crochet in that turning chain. So that's gonna give us the correct odd number of total stitches to work these mesh little squares into. And as you can see, we have a row all the way across of mesh. So I'm gonna show you now what happens if you're working a non-increase row, but you're working it into the mesh, because the only time you'll work into solid half double crochets is just in this row two. Everything else is gonna be worked into the mesh stitches because the rest of the sleeve will be all this half double crochet chain one space stuff. So I've chained three again. That's how we're gonna start every row regardless of what kind of row it is. And I am going to now, instead of skipping that half double crochet, I'm gonna skip this chain one space and then I'm gonna work into the next half double crochet. So the way that that looks is that's this little hole right here that because I'm right-handed is to the right of the stitch. If you're left-handed, it will be over here on the other side. So I'm gonna put my hook in there to work my half double crochet. And then just like we did before, I'm gonna chain one. I'm skipping that chain, which is kind of unimportant. The more important thing is just to know where to put your hook there, which is in the top of that half double crochet. And then I'm going to half double crochet. So chain one, and then half double crochet into the next half double crochet. Chain one, and then half double crochet. 
So you can see it's the same thing we did before. It's just kind of um, a slightly less obvious place where we're inserting our hook, but you'll get the hang of it and it'll be no problem. So as you can see, this is forming sort of a grid where the half double crochets are almost stacked right on top of each other. They're slightly uh, a little offset just because of how a half double crochet has worked. But essentially the way it'll look on your sleeve is that it's a grid of half double crochet and chain one spaces. So we're going to finish this row like this. I'll meet you at the end of the row to talk about how to finish it off and then we'll work an increase row. And then these two rows are the only thing you need to know to work the rest of your sleeve. And as I come to the end of this row here, I've chained one. I'm going to work into that last uh, legit half double crochet stitch. And then I'm going to chain one again and place a half double crochet just right in this turning chain here. And that is going to count as our last half double crochet. So now we should have a two rows of these little half double crochet windows. So now let's talk about how to work an increase row because this is what's going to make your sleeve kind of uh, work out into a more of a trapezoid shape to um, meet in the shoulder section. So to do this we need to chain three at the beginning of the row just like we always have but what we're going to do in this row is increase on each side by one of these little windows. So it won't look exactly like that because it's going to look kind of more like a triangle, but the way it will work in the pattern is that at the end of this row, you should have two extra windows. So if you're ever lost um, and wondering like, did I increase enough or not? You can go to the written pattern and I've listed how many chain one spaces you should have in each row. And I find that just easier to count than the double crochets, but either way you can count either one, but you're going to want um, to be increasing in the increased rows by one little window over here and then one on the other side. And the way that works is we've got our chain three. Now instead of working into that next half double crochet like we do on a non-increased row, I'm going to just half double crochet into this space. So I'm going in the window and finishing my half double crochet. So that's my extra window now. Now I'm going to chain one and then as I usually do, work into this half double crochet stitch. So you can see it's a little bit bunched up. It won't look so bunched up in the final sleeve, but now we've gone from having two chain one spaces in this box here to having, I'm sorry, we've gone from having one chain one space here in this box to now having two. So we've increased by one. The rest of this row until the last box is going to be just like a regular non-increase row because I'm going to chain one and then half double crochet in the next half double crochet stitch. So there we go. We're working in our grid like this, chaining one, working in the next half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet. So this is what that looks like. I'm going to work to the end of the row and I'll show you how an increase looks when you get there. So when I'm at the end of an increase row here, I need to replicate what I did on the other side of the row. So I am going to have one little uh, square here and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to half double crochet into the middle of that square. So that's my first little window that I've created and then I'm going to do that one more time. So I'm going to chain one and just half double crochet into that window. So what we've done is now created two little windows. Even if they're a little bit hard to see, we've got one and two in the space where there previously was only one. So as I said, we've now increased two total windows in this row. So we're on our way to making our sleeve wider. And from here, I'm just gonna repeat those same rows. So the non-increase row where I just work a chain one and a half double crochet. And then the increase rows where I do the same thing, I just start out each row and end each row with an extra little window. So that is actually all you need to know to work the sleeve. Um, you are going to do the, that series of regular non-increase rows with some increase rows thrown in. And you can check out the free written pattern to show you exactly how often you should work an increase row and how many total rows you need in your sleeve because it's going to vary by size. But that's all you need to know to make a sleeve. So obviously, um, 
you're going to want to make two of those <laughs> so you have an even sweater. Um, and then next week we'll be ready to move on to the finishing touches. All right, once your sleeves are finished, you are so close to the end of this project. I'm really proud of you for making it this far. I would love to see all your hard work. Please share your work in progress pictures on Instagram using hashtag alchemy, C-A-L, so that we can all admire them. Can you believe next week is our last week? We're gonna learn how to join all of these pieces together and then add the finishing touches that'll really make your cardigan unique. Until then, happy crocheting.